Good evening, FS Global Bad Channel, and welcome to an early mod preview. This is the Gaboda Equipment Pack from Iconic Upgrades. So, a huge shout out to Iconic Upgrades for allowing me to show you guys early access of this beautiful mod. If you guys are wondering, when does this mod come out? Because, you know, most of the time when someone asks me when a mod or asking me, you know, when's this mod going to come out, I usually say there is never a release date for mods. Well, guess what, guys? This one does have a release date. The release date on this is the same release date as the Kubota DLC, as you see from these three tractors right there. And that is June the 28th. So there we go right to there. Okay, also, if you're on PC, guys, and you guys are interested in pre-ordering the Kubota DLC, which, of course, is, you know, all this. I did do a separate video on that, so definitely take a look at that. This is the Kubota DLC stuff. If you guys are interested in pre-ordering it, the club's affiliate link is down in the description, guys. Helps out the club. Doesn't cost any extra, and I believe right now it's actually 10% off, so you get a little bit off. Hey, right, but anyways, we're going to be talking about this mod pack right here from Iconic Upgrades. He actually makes a lot of good stuff, guys. If you're on PC and you're not taking a look at some of the stuff he's made, definitely take a look at that. He's made a Polaris, uh, the Stone Picker. I use that a lot on my streams when I play on PC. All right, but anyways... Let's take a look at this stuff in store. Actually, before we do, hey, let me know in the comment section below, guys. I heard something on another video saying that the colors don't match. Uh, to me, it looks like they match. Uh, a YouTuber has actually said that uh, he sent it off to Giants, but of course, you know, the color not, is not in the game yet because the Kubota DLC is not out. Giants actually uh, fixed it for Iconic and everything to make the colors. But I believe he said that he, they didn't give it back or anything like that with the color correction. Because, of course, it's not out. But to me, that looks the same color. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys think it's the same color. Uh, we'll hook it up. and You know, actually, let's hook up something really quick right now so we can actually take a look at the color to see if they do match. It's a little bit easier whenever they're, like, right on top of each other. Let's just hook it up to, say, the sprayer right over here since it's going to be really close to the tractor. Dude, I love this Kubota DLC. Okay, so like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can definitely see it now. Okay, if you can see that, it's a little bit lighter, that one is, than the other one. But what I've heard is that whenever the Kubota DLC does come out and, you know, the mod pack comes out, it's going to have the right color correction on that. Uh, I mean, it's not too far off. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys think it looks different. All right, anyways, let, let's take a look at this mod pack actually in the store. Okay, in the store, it's under Kubota Equipment Pack, which it's a pretty big pack. First of all, we got some mowers. We got the Kubota DM5040, which is 20,500, 85 horsepower, 1.3 tons, four worker meters right there. Uh, we got decals. If you look really closely, the decals change from new. We got the old ones. Then we got none. You got framed any color you want. Top any color you want. It even says right there, see, Kubota orange. So, I don't know. Apron, you can change the color. And rim color, you can change the color. But I'm not going to change the colors. After that, we have the DMC 7332T, which is 21,000. Uh, 1 1.2 tons, 3.2 working meters, 82 horsepower on that one. Uh, 13 miles an hour is the top speed. We got decals new, old. And then back to none, body color, any color. So if you want to have it as Sam's pink, which I would never do that, you can have it as Sam's pink. Let's go back all the way up. Again, okay, after that one, we got the DMC 63100T, which is $55,000, requires 240 horsepower, 3.7 tons, 10.2 working meters. Uh, option this one, you got the Vario. You got, of course, the Vario BX, which, of course, makes it, you know, Winrow and all that. So that's uh, definitely plus right there. Decals, you got the new decals, old decals, and then back to none. And body color, the same thing on that one. After that, we got some tethers. We got the TE6060, which is $11,000. 6.1 tons. It does require 60 horsepower. Uh, options, you got the deca decals, new, old, or none. And you got the frame color, any color, and the rim color, any color. Uh, then we have another tether, which is the TE8590, which is 16,500. Nine working meters on this one, 80 horsepower. You got, of course, the decals. I'm not going to really go over the decals anymore because, as you guys can tell, there's new, old, or there is none on those. And, of course, you got the frame color and you got the rim color. Then we have a wind rower. We have the RA4513, which is 52,500. And with this one, let's see. Let's go in here. We got Trollborg. We got BKT. You just got the standard wheels. You got the decals like I was talking about. 
uh, body any color, frame any color, and rim color any color. Also, something some people are gonna be sitting there saying, well, these are reskins, right? Well, what I kind of just said about it is that this is, of course, it is a reskin, but it is also legit. He can't help who owns Kubota. Well, he can't help who Kubota owns and rebrands their stuff in real life. So, yeah, uh, he made this pack to make it a lot easier for that. So, yeah, there we go right there. Okay, after that one, we also got the Kubota Bail. Oh, sorry, the Kubota Fast Bail, which is $110,000. This makes 125 centimeter bales. And of course, it wraps it and stuff like that. It does require 150 horsepower on that. So this is definitely going to be the baler I'm going to be using. Hey, right, let's see. Uh, we have decals. We have the FB1000, Fast Bail, and of course, we got none on that. And then you guys, of course, know the body, the rim color. Let's check the foil colors. You pretty much have the standard, but you do also have the Kubota Orange. So can make the Kubota orange bales. Definitely gonna be using that. All right, then we have the DSX WGO spread, which is $26,000. Uh, so let's go in here. We got decals new, old. Now the big difference in this, okay? You see right there, it says 3,900 liters. If we go to capacity, we got that. Then you also got the unrealistic one, which is extra 3,000. It holds 10,000 liters right there. And of course we got the colors on that. And this does of course your fertilizer and it also does lime 42 working meters. Then we have some sprayers. We have the XFT211, which is 4,500, holds anywhere from 1,100 all the way up to 5,000 liters. This holds herbicide and it holds liquid fertilizer. Options on this one, you got the new and you got the old. In capacity, you got standard, then you got the XL. Uh, then of course we got the sprayer. We got the XMS218, which is 26,500. Options on this one, you have working with 18, 24, 28, uh, decals new or old capacity you got standard or you got the XL on that so that is something that's going to be really good with this pack you know actually having that you know more capacity on that uh, and after that one we have another spray we have the XTS 446 which is 66,000 can't even speak 66,500 uh, let's see this holds wait actually let's get to that in a second uh, working with 18 24 28 32 36 40 all the way up to 40 working meters will brand you have 12 bore you have michelin you have continental veritasteen 12 bore you have standard you have narrow tires you have narrow twin wheels Ooh, nice and then back to standard uh michelin you have standard narrow tires narrow twins uh let's see those are just all standard right there decals you have new old or none capacity you got the standard which is 4600 or you got the big one which is 15,000 liters so awesome Okay, and after that one, we have some cultivators. We have the PH2301, which is $11,000. Three working meters. It does require 130 horsepower. And, of course, you got the same decals and the frame color on that. Then we have another cultivator. This is the CD1300, which is $18,000. Three working meters. does require 100 horsepower. And you got the new or old decals on that. And you can change the frame color and the roller color. So if we want to change it like that, it'll change those back there. And then we also have the plow, which is the RM305V, which is $36,000. 2.5 working meters, 165 horsepower is required. Decals, you got new or old or none. Design, you have standard, the Paco mats, and that is it on that. Change the frame color, detail color, and then the rim color. Uh, and then we also have two cedars, it looks like. Well, first one, we have a planter, which is the PP1450V, which is $29,000. Does require 70 horsepower. Uh, let's see, 4.5 working meters. This does also seeding and it does fertilization. Uh, does your corn, sunflower, soybeans, uh, sugar beets, and your cotton. And then you also got the decals. But the cool thing is the capacity, you got standard, which is 1360, or you got the XL version, which is 5,440. Uh, let's see. And then the last one we have is the Cedar, which is the SD331 MP, which is 34,500 on that. We got, of course, the decals and then the capacity is standard or XL for that one. And that is it on that. So that right there, guys, is the pack. Let's actually take a look at some of the stuff in the pack. Okay, so here we are in game. Uh, as you see, we got most of the equipment right here. I do really love these mowers. These mowers I'm definitely going to be using. The tether is going to be using. The sprayer is going to be using. Uh, the wind rowers, that fast baler, definitely going to be using. Uh, so let's see. The animations look good on it. Let's start that engine real quick. I mean, this is just a really beautiful pack. Look at that. 
All right, so let's go ahead and drop that real quick. Hook this all up. Like that. I mean, look at that. Even those things move with it. So let's go ahead and hook this up. And we'll go over here and maybe cut some grass. Let me bring this up real quick. Okay, like I was saying, guys, remember this comes out on June the 28th. All right, so first thing is first, we got it on widespread and we need to actually get it on wind rowing. Let's, uh, I'll go ahead and unfold everything. Unfold that. And then let's put this on to swath dropping. Okay, let's go ahead and lower that. There we go. Lower that. And there we go. And as you see, there we go, mowing. Probably should have got the bigger engine. <laughs> Yeah, I should have got the bigger engine. But it's still mowing. I mean, we're going about two miles an hour. I mean, it looks good, right? I mean, the details look amazing. I mean, look at that. How awesome would it be if you can actually set your grass height? That would be amazing. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the Gaboda Mod Pack from Iconic Upgrades. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are planning on using this. Like always, if you guys did like the video, make sure to pound that like button. If you haven't subbed, make sure you guys do. Like always, have amazing day, farmers. Peace.